responders in Lancaster County are marking the sacrifice of 9-11 with a new event, and they need your help. News 8's Lancaster County reporter Meredith Jorgensen is live at the Intercourse Fire Company to explain. Meredith. Hi, Brian. Well, September 11th is a day that firefighters and police officers want to stop and remember those killed 13 years ago. You'll recall that day in 2001, so many people around the country wanted to do something, so they flooded hospitals and blood banks wanting to donate blood, expecting there to be survivors. That's the kind of spirit that people are hoping to tap into again this year. This is a friendly competition they're calling Battle of the Badges. This kicked off just an hour ago. And uh, firefighters and police officers are encouraging everyone to give any time in the next eight weeks. And you pick whether you're on team police or team fire. Police and fire have historically always been kind of friendly rivals. And, uh, of course, I know that team police will win because most firemen, you can't get them out of bed. They're usually sleeping a lot. And, uh, and I'm sure they'll say something about cops eating donuts. We won't be able to donate because we have a donut in our hand. Don't believe any of that. It, it's all rubbish. Well, the fire and police are obviously going to have some fun with this, but it's not rubbish at all. The importance of blood is so prevalent everywhere in the country, and you never know when you might be in need of blood. But in addition to Team Fire and to po Team Police, I'm adding Team Press. This is Blue Ridge Cable's Erica Blatt, and she just gave blood. This is your first time, right, Erica? She survived. She survived. She's doing great. Um, so this um, runs until November uh, 10th. You can go to any LGH, any Lancaster General Health Office, and donate. And you have to pick team fire or team um, police, and hopefully we'll fill those blood banks. All this blood is expected to stay locally. That's the latest here. Back to you. Great effort for a great cause. Thank you, Meredith.